Hello everyone, I am Dr. Madhuri Kirloskar with my sisters Dr. Rohini Divedi and architect Nandini Bisk and our respective families are thrilled to witness the establishment of an award in our mother's name honoring a truly deserving individual. The idea of initiating this award came to us, her daughters, as we reflected on the essence of our mother's life. She was the epitome of simple living and high thinking. We stumbled upon this treasure trove of certificates bearing her exceptional academic accomplishments such as winning multiple gold medals and prizes in various subjects at undergraduate level, being the best outgoing student of a batch of 1943 as also the first MD in medicine from this prestigious institution. We felt that her remarkable life should be commemorated and celebrated for generations and years to come, despite her very modest and humble nature. We took this initiative during my visit to CMC Velour for Alumni Day in 2022, and this gained momentum with the unwavering support of the entire team at CMC. My cousin, Dr. Rabin Chako, the principal, the vice principal, the head of department of medicine, the senior, very well-respected doyen, Dr. Zakaria, and his son, Dr. Anand, all gave us invaluable guidance at every step of the way to establishing this award in her honor. The family of Dr. Mary Kane is forever indebted to the prize committee for the impartial selection of the right candidate as well as eternally grateful to all of us who assisted in following proper institutional protocols. This award is intended for a deserving MD candidate who has directed their efforts towards addressing societal needs and serving as a guiding light to the residents and the undergraduates. This will help others to carry forward the torch that Dr. Ida Scudder lit on these very sacred grounds and which inspired people like Dr. Mary Kani and the recipient of the award to embody the spirit and the ethos of this premier institution. Mary, our dear Amu, was born on 8th of January 1926 in Thiruvilla of Central Kerala State. Eldest of six children, born to Mr. and Mrs. Katie Thomas of Karukail family, she passed the school final exam with distinction from the Travancore Government Higher Secondary School for Girls in 1941. In March 1943, she finished her intermediate exam with distinction from the Women's College of Travancore University. Humility, honesty, and a perfection in discharging her duties were the family values that she was brought up with. Pursuing medical education was a dream for Amu and her mother. She was admitted to the Christian Medical College Velour in 1943 taking a significant step towards achieving her dream. Mary excelled as a brilliant student throughout her academic career in CMC. She won prizes and gold medals in subjects like pathology, bacteriology, community medicine and hygiene, ophthalmology, surgery and medicine. She was recognized as the best outgoing student of her batch. After her short stint in neurosurgery as registrar, she joined the Department of Medicine under Dr. P. Kutumbaya. Dr. Kutumbaya and Dr. Paul Brandt significantly shaped her outlook towards medical profession and practice. 
Dr. Kutumbaya in particular played a special role in mentoring her towards a caring and compassionate medical career. Amu passed the MD exam on her first attempt in 1953 as the first MD from this prestigious university. CMC Velour emphasized medical excellence, social responsibility and service to the underserved. After having been selected for the honor of getting a fellowship in gastroenterology, a rarity in those days, Mary left for the US in May 1955, first to the University of Rochester and then to the University Hospital of Pennsylvania. From 57 to 59, she worked as a physician at the Connecticut State Hospital in Middletown. At Rochester, she met Dr. Prabhakar Kane, a beloved father, who became her life partner of 64 years. Despite all the lucrative opportunities available in the US, they both decided to come back to India for the service and love of their motherland. Our father, Dr. Prabhakar Kani, was a nuclear physicist and employed as professor at Wesleyan University. He was the youngest son of the esteemed Sanskrit scholar and Bharat Ratna, Dr. Pandurang Vaman Kani. Despite their diverse cultural backgrounds, their marriage was founded on love, trust and mutual respect. I am her eldest daughter Rohini. My mother was a remarkable woman. She taught us sharing, caring and how to be resilient. She was a very obedient and caring daughter and daughter-in-law, a very supportive caring and loving mother and grandmother. In 1961, Mary assumed the role of physician and head of unit at Mahatma Gandhi Hospital, a quasi-government institution dedicated to the welfare of mill workers and their families. The hospital faced significant challenges in terms of overcrowding, sanitation, uh, tuberculosis, various occupational lung diseases and skin problems. Drawing upon the compassion and warmth instilled in her during her early days at CMC, she excelled as an administrator, clinician and researcher. Her warm and welcoming smile, gentle gestures and attentive listening made her a favorite among those seeking healing. Dr. Mary Dasgupta, another CMC alumna, provided valuable support to her team of lady physicians. Throughout her years of dedicated service, she upheld the values of CMC Velour, embodying grace and warmth to all she encountered. She wasn't just an outstanding doctor, but also a dutiful daughter, daughter-in-law, mother, and grandmother. In her humility, compassion and adherence to moral values, she served as a role model for us. She didn't prioritize monetary gains but focused on the spirit of loving, giving and sharing. These attributes blessed her with robust health and an active lifestyle, allowing her to fulfill her duties and responsibilities till the very end. After her retirement from MGM Hospital, Mumbai in 1984, we shifted to our residential premises at Prabhadevi. Even here, Mary continued her warmth, affection and love to all those around her. One particular memory stands out uh, that has remained in the hearts of our neighbors as well as family. Mary answered the call for a manual evacuation of a 90-year-old man with severe constipation who was in deep distress. The family, to this day, remains forever grateful to my mother for her selfless act. Nandini Bisk, the youngest daughter of Dr. Mary Prabhakar Kane, I'm extremely happy to see a prize being given to a well-deserved person in honor of my mom. My mom would not have liked the fuss 
but it was important for us to acknowledge her achievements. As the youngest sibling, I got to spend time with my mom after she retired. Empathy is the word that comes to my mind when I think of her. She was always ready to listen to your problems. Sometimes that was the best medicine. She touched so many lives even after she retired. My goal is to carry on her legacy by helping others, making them feel special. I'm extremely proud to be her daughter. She will always walk beside me every day. So loved, so missed and so very dear. In her final moments, our mother was blessed with a merciful end, sparing her from prolonged suffering. A testament to the remarkable service she provided to those in need throughout her life. She had a remarkable ability to connect and engage with individuals from diverse backgrounds. Throughout her life, she dedicated herself to upholding the values and ethos she imbibed from CMC Velour. Her entire existence was a living embodiment of the motto of CMC Velour, not to be ministered unto, but to minister. The impact she has left behind will serve as a continuous source of inspiration to countless individuals.